Hello everyone, and today we're going to work on removing our sound enhancement pipe, also known as our sound tube, for our 2020 Mustang GT. Now the reason being is we need to make room for other modifications we're going to do later, as well as it's kind of an eyesore. And at the very end, we're going to do some sound tests, that way you can hear the before and after. So let's get started. And we'll go ahead and start towards the front of the vehicle with this hose clamp. So I'll grab my pliers and we'll go ahead and compress this clamp down just to loosen it up. There we go, now I'll get my other hand in there and go ahead and pull away the sound tube. There we go, we're off to a good start. Next, let's go ahead and work our way back towards the air filter, and right on the side, you're going to see us retaining bracket. And you just got to press it in just a little bit, and then lift up. So let's see if I can lift up just a little bit. There we go. So now we detached it from the air filter case. And working our way back a little bit more, we have this retaining clip right there that's attached to the body. So you just need your trim removal tool, and see if we can get under it, or at least try to. There we go, and just pry it up. May take a little finesse, and there we go. And we'll go ahead and set that aside. All right, now here's the hardest part about this whole process. Towards the end of the sound tube where it meets up with the firewall, there's a lock nut right there. And you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket wrench just to get that out and a lot of patience. So I'm gonna take my 10 millimeter socket and socket wrench and see if I can get my hand in there and start loosening it up. And this method is very time consuming just based on the amount of room we have to move that nut. Now ideally, the best thing we could have had was an extension bar set and a universal joint socket set. And I had everything but the quarter inch universal joint socket and that was really what ate up all this time. So at the end of all this, just be mentally prepared, you might have mechanics hands by the time you get this nut removed. One eternity later. So it looks like we got the nut at the very end of the stud, so I'm gonna get my hand in there, see if we can go ahead and turn it by hand. And there we go, we finally got that hardest piece out. And now with a little bit of oomph, we can go ahead and remove our sound tube right from the firewall. And all I gotta do is just pry it away and try to finagle it around everything. Come on. And come on. There we go. So we got that side out. I'll just set that down for now. And from the side, let's see if we can wiggle the rest of this pipe out. And I just gotta twist and turn it a few spots. Come on. And we're almost there. There we go. Very nice. Let me go ahead and reclip my air filter. There we go. And look at that. We got this bad boy out, and it doesn't look that great. I'm not sure why the hoses on this thing seems to look worse than the rest of the hoses under the hood. It's just kind of odd. And we're almost done. So I'm going to pull out our sound tube delete kit. And it's a very simple kit. It only comes with three pieces, and you can order it online for very cheap. It comes with the plug, hose clamp, and a cap. And just like earlier, I'm going to start towards the front. So I'm going to grab my cap, and we're going to install it right on our air cleaner outlet pipe. Basically where that void is. And give it a little twist. There we go, looks very nice. And I'll take my hose clamp and I'm gonna put it right over that cap. And I'm gonna try to turn it, make it look nice. Take a flathead screwdriver and we'll just tighten it up. So give this a few turns till it's nice and snug. And just a little bit more. There we go, do a little test. Very sturdy, so that's easy. And if we look back towards our firewall, you're gonna see a nice hole we left when we took off that sound enhancement pipe. So this needs to be taken care of just to make sure we don't have any water that comes into the vehicle. And all you have to do is take that one plug we have, and here's the trick, just don't drop it. And all you have to do is press it right in until it's flush with the firewall, and you're all done. And we'll go ahead and bring the camera in, that way you can see what I see. And looking at this plug, look like it turned out pretty good. And of course, we always want to do a once-over just to admire our work, as well as do a quick inspection. Looks like that cap looks pretty good, nice and sturdy. I do like the fact the sound tube is gone because I didn't like how those hoses were discolored. It makes it look like an eyesore under the hood. I'm glad it is gone. And looking at that cap, let me get my light down there. That looks pretty good as well. So overall, I loved how this turned out and it's going to give me room for these later projects. So now I'm curious how it's going to sound with and without the sound tube. So we did some tests beforehand and this is what it sounds like in normal mode with the sound tube. normal mode without the sound tube sport mode with the sound tube sport mode without the sound tube Track mode with the sound tube. Music 
And now track mode without the sound tube. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I don't really hear much of a difference with or without the sound tube. So, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.